today's video, you guys, we're going to open up. We're not going to open up. We're actually going to check out some of the redeemables for Funko NFTs. Now, I know I showed off probably the first three I'm going to show off in this video, but the rest of these I have only opened the box and I have not viewed. Anyways, we're going to get into it. We're going to kick this off with, of course, showing off the House of the Dragon Funko NFTs. These ones I actually received a couple months back. Uh, I already made a video on it. And like I said, these came in. They, the boxes are, they're okay. I, I'm not I'm not upset with how these boxes came in. Um, usually people usually have problems with how the Funko NFTs uh, come in. This is going to be a massive video, you guys. Because once we're done with the House of Dragons, we're going to view the redemption for the Freddy Funko as Reptar. We're going to view the one pop I did get from the Teen Titans line. The Hanna-Barbera one. The Dungeons and Dragons line, which I got pretty much most of those. And then we're going to finish this off with the Dark Knight Series 1. Where I got the entire series of redeemables for that one so stay tuned guys this is ridiculous all right so the next one we got is going to be the freddy funko as reptar this one is from the nickelodeon series 2 and like the box on this one actually came out really good i am not disappointed with this one at all there's the nft on the back right there Reptar. I am not disappointed. Like you see, he's got his little crown on the top. That's that's actually a really really nice one. I already got a uh, pop protector for it. Um, I gotta run out. I gotta buy a bunch of stacks. I'm gonna definitely stack every single one of my Dark Knight series ones I got. The next one is actually the Slade Wilson. I actually I, I was dumb. I traded. Uh, NFT for NFT for this one. Uh, buddy of mine was like, yo, I want the... Uh, I traded this NFT, actually, for the Slade Wilson. So let's take a look. Slade Wilson, 1,800 pieces. This one, I'm kind of disappointed because, like, look how skinny Slade is. Like, he, his body is, like, stupid small. I am uh, kind of disappointed with that one. There is some wear I could see on the box there. There's the top. There's some more wear up on the top and the bottom. All right. So now we're going to move into the ones I have not seen. I'm not sure if this box is going to be the Dungeons and Dragons box. I'm not sure if this box is going to be Dungeons and Dragons. Or, I think this is Dungeons & Dragons. So let's take a look, you guys. Now, for this one, I got the Owl Pig and the Owl Bear. I got the Demogorgon. And I got the Freddy Funko as Wizard. So let's see which one's first. It hits upside down. Alright, so we got the Demogorgon. Yep, this is Dungeons & Dragons. There's a bunch of box dust, which is to be expected. A lot of these, for whatever reason... They always have a bunch of box dust on it. It's 1,640 pieces. That is actually like a really, really cool figure. Now, I don't know. No, that, so it looks like it's box damage right there when in fact he's like splashing around in the water in the NFT. I, I was like, hold on, wait a minute. There's a bunch of whitening on the uh, box right there. There's a, it looks like there's a, is that a scuff? Yeah, that's a scuff. It's fine. But that's the problem when the box is not white. Is like every blemish you're going to see. But that is a... It's a nice little pop right there if I do say so myself. Alright, let's reach in. Let's grab the second pop, which I have no idea which one it is. So we got the Displacer Beast. 1,640 pieces on this one as well. Like I said, there's going to be box dust on the window. That's a beautiful figure. There's the NFT on the back. Boom, boom, boom. Let's look at the top. 
this one doesn't look anywhere near as bad as the, um, whatchamacallit, the uh, Demogorgon, which, who knows, I, I, I'm kind of disappointed I didn't get the entire line of the Dungeons and Dragons one, and this should be Wizard Freddy Funko. Boom. So, there's 2,500 pieces on this one. Dude, like, this one's so cool. I kind of wish the flame in his hand was glowing in the dark. That would have been, like, chef's kiss. I see a little scuff. Yeah, there's a little scuff right there above the window. That's fine. Because this is, like, the Dungeons & Dragons line for sure is going in my personal collection. And here's the top. There's the bottom. Boom. But yeah, these are these are actually really nice little ones. Uh, I don't know which one was your favorite one out of the three for the Dungeons and Dragons line. Comment down below. I think mine's probably going to be the Demogorgon, even though I know uh, a lot of people are going to say that uh, they have a uh, common one out there that looks almost exactly the same. I'm kind of disappointed in that, but hey, it is what it is. All right. So I think I know. There's no I think. I know. This next box is going to be the Hanna-Barbera Series 2. I know I have a duplicate in this one. I'm not sure. I'm just going to grab... There's uh, two in this one. Well, there should be four in total, but two in this box. Oh, yes. So, here's one of the ones like I really, really wanted. And like I got two of them when I opened up all of the NFTs. And it's Birdman, Attorney at Law. This is one of my favorite um, favorite series. A bunch of box dust on the window. Come on, drop. Birdman! I, like, this was one of my favorite, like, all-time favorites. Like, this actually doesn't look bad at all. There's some, a little bit of wear on the top. But for the most part, a lot of this is just box dust. Followed by the next one. Let's see. Is this going to be the duplicate or did they put the duplicate in the other one? Oh, yeah, boy. So this one is the Freddy Funko Royalty. Him holding Huckleberry Hound. The detail on that one is so nice. 2,300 pieces on this one. And uh, like I said, I've been trying to get all the... Oh, it's confetti. I was like, what is that on that window? I've been trying to get every single royalty for every drop I get into. And let me tell you, it's, uh, it's a little bit harder than you think, especially when they're starting to burn um, packs. I think Hanna-Barbera sold out, but it, it, it took a while for it to sell out. Um, <clears throat> but this next one, is it, this is the deal right here. So, of course, here's the secondary Birdman. Beautiful 2,000 pieces. We actually got two. One's going to the collection. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the second one yet. Ooh. Oh, that's box dust. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful box. There's a bunch of box dust. And then the next one. Boom. Is uh, the Mighty Me My Tour. My Tour. 2,000 pieces. I don't remember watching the Mighty My Tour. I know, uh, I remember seeing this character, but I never watched it. Boom. All right. Now, let me know down below, who was your favorite out of the Hanna-Barbera ones? Did you guys like the Birdman like I did? Because I do not regret getting, like, the. I was so excited I got the Birdman, let alone I pulled two of those bad boys. I tell you what. All right. This set right here is a set that I was so excited for because it was hands down, in my opinion, even though the third movie was not the best, one of the greatest adaptations of all times for movies, to, from comic books to movies. And that is, this is the Dark Knight series one. I got the entire set all was it four five six funko pops from this set so we're going to take a look <sighs> i dropped everything the second i heard bing bong 
I opened the door and it was from Drop. And I was like, I dropped everything to go and grab this and film this video because I want to see what these look like. I'm so excited, you guys. Whew. All right. So we're grabbing the first one. I'm not sure which one this is. Ooh, baby girl. So, yes. There's tons of box dust. But that's to be expected. I'm definitely getting hard stacks for each and every one of these. I'm not removing any of these from their boxes. 1900 piece Selena Kyle Dark Knight Trilogy. That is... Chef's Kiss. That's a beautiful, beautiful box. Is that more box dust? Yeah, it is. And then the bottom. That's, hey, like I said, you gotta love yourself some Selena Kyle. And I love how in the third movie, they never called her uh, Catwoman. Alright, the next one. <laughs> Dude, he, he is so detailed. Bro, look at this. Look how detailed that mask is. This is the 1900 piece Dark Knight Trilogy Scarecrow. <laughs> Baby. Dude, this is beautiful. I'm, I'm way too excited about this. That is when uh, Scarecrow was in the holding cell, I believe, in the second movie. No, the first movie. And uh, boom. Beautiful, beautiful. Like... And on top of that, I will admit for this one, the box is very crispy. Very crispy. All right. <clears throat> this is the third one. And, um, okay. Yeah, they did. Okay. So this one, this is the Bruce Wayne. So this one did get a little bit of a revision from the original because they were going to make his suit like black. And as you can tell, it's more like a gray color. All that box dust, dude. I might have to clean that up. But uh, see, there's the original NFT. You see how it suits black? And when you come to the front here, it's more of like a gray color. And especially like on the uh, front here, it's more of a gray. So they, they went from this black color to more of a gray. The box actually looks really, really good on this one. Like, I am pleasantly surprised. There's a bunch of box dust. But that's okay. We're halfway through the Dark Knight Series 1. I, I'm so happy. So in this box right here, we're going to have Freddy Funko as Commissioner Gordon, Bane, and then the Grail. The Grail is Two-Face. So let's, uh, let's, oh man, dude, I'm so excited. All right, so we're going to randomly grab him. And we're going to see what we got. Oh, 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 bro, this one, this one's way cooler than I expected. I, uh, fucking box dust, man. So if you look in Bane's hand, he actually has the bat cow. 1900 pieces. I will admit this one I did have to buy from the secondary market because I did not pull it. I had to buy this one. I had to buy a and Kyle. I had to buy the scarecrow. But I, I got the Bruce Wayne and I pulled the Grail myself. But I love how, if you look at the NFT on the back, he's holding the cow. And, like, they actually kept it in the pop, bro. No wonder this, so, there's a little bit of wear on the top. That's fine. But uh, at the end of the day, the, I see why people were asking a lot for this one. Only because, like, it's so detailed. Like, the, like, you look at his mask. You look at his, his body. Like, mm. I'm just happy with how detailed these, uh, these pops are coming in as. All right. We're grabbing the next one. Ooh. Yes. All right. I'm happy with this one. This is Harvey Dent. AKA Two-Face. Now, I don't know if... Actually, if you look real close, which you probably won't be able to see, on the coin, they actually have a face on it that's scratched. That's, like, super detailed. I, I'm i very happy with these ones. 
Um, all right, let's do the 360 on this. So Harvey Dent as Two Face. Like I said, these are ones that I'm not. I'm never going to remove from their boxes. These are going to stay in my personal collection, especially the uh, Dark Knight trilogy, because I am a massive Batman fan. And I like on top of that, that Two Face was the first Grail I ever pulled. All right, and this last one's going to be from the royalty set. Oh, dude, this one's actually really nice. Oh, and it's and it's super detailed. So this is like, if you take a look, you uh, on the side there. I don't know. You can't read the patch, but the patch is actually the SWAT patch. So th I'm guessing they're taking this Commissioner Gordon mold from like right after he was quote unquote killed in uh, Dark Knight. And um, yeah, that one oh, so good. I, bro, I am so, I keep saying this, but those Dark Knight Pops, they're so detailed. The boxes don't look bad at all either. I'm so happy with that. I want to hear what you guys think about these redeemables down in the comments section because like, oh, they're way better than I expected. Way better. Hopefully you guys liked that video. Don't forget to mash that like button, comment down below, and subscribe because every little bit helps the channel. It genuinely does. I can't do this stuff without you guys. And I want to thank each and every single one of you guys. Y'all take it easy. Have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you later. Bye.